It's a dark night to an old soul. You, you, you see the beacon of light through that black hole. Greetings, signs and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. Any and all information that you need about me regarding this reading shall be in the description box below. Let go. So this is about your desires, your wants, your needs, your livelihood, using your intuition and standing on truth may or may not have something to do with the reading. This could be a prophecy. A truth was spoken in regards to a partnership. This third party energy may be a Pisces as well as an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting the energy of choosy lover. Most definitely, I'm picking up on the energy of fire and desire. This could be, metaphorically speaking, in regards to the rising of the phoenix. People may not be aware that this is a spiritual bird and the importance of a spiritual awakening. I feel like going forward, something is going to be revealed by you and or someone that you have a telepathic connection with. Most definitely, you may feel like someone's prying in your business. You may also be an individual that has a lot of eyes on you. You may have help to facilitate an ascension. You may feel that you had to leave a lot of people behind, but this too is a faded situation. Not everybody is going to be able to ascend with you. That's not saying that you won't meet up with these individuals again. However, it is of great importance that you release what no longer serves you. I'm getting the energy of someone feeling rejected in regards to a message. This person may have attempted to reach out to you. I'm also getting null and void. A contract may have been voided out by you or a third party. Has a lot to do with this King of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be. If you didn't go through this ascension and you are a fire sign, something may have been redirected and possibly rejected. Could be you, but I'm getting the energy of a third party. A cycle being complete. You may not feel whole in regards to a current situation. If that is the case, you could be in the midst of completing a cycle. I feel strongly that a message is not being received properly and or someone is attempting to misguide you via messenger. It has a lot to do with the world event. It may or may not be this current paradigm shift. So now I'm getting the energy of a legacy Something that you leave behind or this person doesn't necessarily have to be family, biological family that benefit from whatever it is you're leaving. This has a lot to do with protecting assets. These assets you may acquire going forward. I'm getting welcome to new earth, especially if you recently went through an ascension. In regards to this king of wands individual, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. This could be someone that you are physically attracted to. They may not be aware that you are not receiving their messages, vice versa. 
For some, this is a mutual attraction. For others, this is someone that is just interested in communicating something via messenger, email, or something of that sort. You can show me what it is I need to see. Picking up on the energy of parasites. Possibly worms. Now this king of disc is what people consider marriage material. You could be wanting to pursue this person and or this person is an active pursuit of you. You may already have your sights set on a specific person. You may have not been able to choose in the past, especially if this choice has something to do with leaving a current place, person, position. I feel like this Nine of Cups energy is someone that you desire. For some, the feeling is mutual, for others, not so much. Now we're getting a bird in the hand is worth more than two in a bush. This could be something that you've heard me say prior, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm picking up on an O-G, O-L-E, also known as an original. Someone may have a lot on their mind. This could also double as being misguided when it comes down to do with before common era. You may notice that people tend to distort the past. You could be a historian and or someone that you are interested in is. For someone, those prying eyes have a lot to do with your spiritual spouse. Now you may have facilitated a lifting, a spiritual lifting in regards to an ascension. People may not be aware of your position when it comes down to do with new earth. For some, this was heart wrenching, especially if this has a lot to do with a spouse also known as significant other. It may have taken you a long time to gather your wits. I'm speaking about you working your way through a chaotic situation. Either show me what it is I need to see. So being at the crossroads, a finale, Somebody may have Aries or Scorpio in the 12th house. However, this is Piscean energy. Someone may not be aware of the effects of what they participated in in the past. May or may not have something to do with an adolescent. They may feel like something is a secret. You may feel like someone hid something from you and or they are currently hiding something. So being indecisive when it comes down to do with the partnership, you may be worried about the way you appear to others. I feel strongly someone is operating out of their moon placement. I feel like this Libra energy is a spiritual contract. Doesn't necessarily have to be something that is romantic in nature. This could be something that was prophesized or is currently being prophesized in regards to spiritual unions. Now for some, the spiritual union is one that you have with your spiritual spouse. 
For others, this could be a distorted connection that you have with the chosen one. These connections that you have with chosen ones are hard to release because of the significance of the karmic debt attached to them. So your past life is significant. You may need to check your south node placement as well as your 12th house. These are all indications as well as others of what took place in a past life. This could also double as a message not being received in the past. Going forward, you may encounter this issue, especially if you are an individual that is multi-dimensional. Now, this could also be someone that you are currently interested in and maybe a third party as well. Ita, show me what it is. Most definitely, this is a divine masculine emperor elect one. But this could also be a twin flame, maybe even a false flame for some. Definitely, spiritual contracts are on the table. I feel like this is piggybacking off of my last reading. You may or may not have seen that reading. Currently, it is uploading. Destiny is actively playing out after a faded situation. For some, you are in the process of completing a faded situation, especially if you've recently released someone that you didn't trust. I feel this sun is acting as an illumination in regards to someone that may have been born in the years of the rat. Someone could be a Leo, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. We have uh, Libra here, Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, Virgo. So show me what it is I need to see. You may also need to check your first house. You may have been building with a chosen one. For some, this is someone that you have a contractual agreement with. For others, this contract has a lot to do with the partnership. May or may not be someone that resides in zone 11 and or 12. You may be noticing synchronicities happening simultaneously. Archangel Gabriel could be significant. Most definitely someone is interested in a divine masculine emperor of like one. However, the feeling may not be mutual, especially if this is someone that you are currently in a contractual agreement with, rather if it is a marriage or a business arrangement. You may be questioning a frenemy. Now, you may not be aware currently that this person cannot be trusted, may or may not be someone that you are currently working with and or someone that you consider a close friend. I feel like going forward, something is going to be revealed about this person, regardless of their role in your life or vice versa. Someone may take your kindness as a weakness. This could be an individual that always expects you to give them something, especially if you are an entrepreneur. Now, this person may reach out and ask you to invest in a project. They may or may not be in a litigation. For someone, this could be a content creator and or you may notice similarities in your content and theirs. I feel like onlookers are questioning, are you really friends? We have this King of Cups energy. I feel like someone is attempting to overthrow you. which means to take your position, or this is you. Most definitely, this is someone that you admire and or care for deeply. If you are in a litigation with this person and you are in a contractual 
agreement. This person may present an untruth to get you to be stuck. You may not be aware that this person is into some form of sorcery. You may need to rest, or this person wants you to rest. Specifically, a Leo male, you may have got into a verbal altercation with a significant other. This person may have even attempted to call in the authorities, or this is you. You may have found out that this person was stepping out on your agreement. This may also be the individual that attempts to speak an untruth going forward. They may feel like you don't know about a financial obligation and or royalties. Could also be royalty payments. Zone three could be significant and or this is someone that has been to your home, someone that may reside in your home, especially if you have investment properties. Either show me what it is I need to see. So you may feel out of place. People may be questioning, are you an elect one? So for some, you went through some form of ascension and the doors were open. For others, the doors were sealed shut because you didn't go through this ascension. Now you may have your defenses up with the person that you currently reside with and or this is in regards to your defense team. You can expect to receive a message from someone that you have a past history with. May or may not be a cancer male, a Scorpio, and or someone is attempting to confuse you in regards to a passing. Now you may know this person watches me or they know that about you. You may sense someone's envy. This could be something that you bore witness to in the past and or going forward. Something is going to be revealed about someone that currently watches me. Either show me what it is I need to see. So again, just like in the prior reading, there was a Libra female that showed up. Now for someone, this wake up call is in regards. Now for someone, this wake up call is in regards to spiritual court. May or may not have something to do with the Taurus male. Now for somebody, you could be a Taurus male and you are in the up and up. This could be somebody that may attempt to put you in a sketchy situation. Meaning, this person may have a testimony and you may not be aware of that. Now being highly favored is also what I'm getting. I picked up a similar energy in my prior reading. Make sure to check that out. Six to nine months, something is going to play out for you and or someone that you are currently in a litigation with. Having to go back and testify and or redo something is significant. Now this wannabe energy is someone that may have been in secret competition with you and you may not have been aware. I feel like you didn't trust your instincts in regards to this person. You may currently have your defenses up if you reside with this person, especially if they are a queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may know that this person is a practicing witch. I feel like something was rejected if they attempted to do something to an elect one or their children. I feel like someone doesn't know their place in regards to hierarchy. This person may feel like they could judge you or you feel that way about another person. I feel like going forward, 
something that took place in the years of the 90s will be revealed. This could be the energy of your right-hand man if you are a divine masculine emperor elect one. Someone may have been on trial for a very long time. I feel like this, that energy has a lot to do with your right-hand man. They may feel like they could have what is yours or you feel that way. Most definitely we have a Gemini male, a Capricorn male, a Leo male that is in reverse. Now, this could be metaphorically speaking in a sense that these are soul ties as well as soul contracts and you released these energies. But this could also play out as a choice between three different individuals. If that is the case, these individuals may be more in alignment with chosen ones. These could also be the individuals that feel out of place, especially if they didn't ascend. I'm being guided to end it there, deuces.